Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to look at the top 5 worst servants in FGO. By no means do I hate these servants and hey, if you like these servants, you can upgrade them, grill them, do whatever you want. But before you do that, I think you should definitely hit the like and subscribe button to help out the channel and catch my latest videos. Anyways, let's just start. Coming up at number 5, we have Hide and Jekyll. We're starting off with an interesting one. It's, a sh it's such a shame that the idea of this servant is so cool, the execution was just the exact opposite. They probably couldn't have executed it worse. First of all, the assassin version is just useless. No damage, no sergeant, shitty skills, and shitty NP gain. Everybody fix that, but later, we'll talk about that later on. So, you have to become a berserker anyway. Problem is, as a berserker, he has no NP. Like, what the F were they thinking? And then his deck is not a triple buster. So, like, his card damage is just low. He cannot do a brave chain with the same card type. Let's just have a look at his skills. First skill is actually shit in assassin mode. Quite decent in berserker mode. It's like, what, a mana burst for three turns? Not too bad. That's, that's really good. Second skill is a shitty stun, but it becomes a guaranteed stun as berserker. Again, not too bad. And last skill is a crit buff and an 80% battery for the assassin version, which it helps him become a berserker, but then it's just a normal crit buff at the end of it. And it's not even that good because he doesn't have a star absorb and his star absorb it goes to shit when he becomes a berserker. Like you would think he would keep his star absorb from the assassin version, but no, he just leaves it and he doesn't have it anymore. He doesn't even have any defensive skills other than the guaranteed stun. So I just wouldn't recommend using him at all. Coming in at number 4, we have Eric Blood Axe. Now, now, you probably forgot the servant exists. And I don't blame you. I'm not gonna lie, I hate, I, I'm not the biggest fan of his character design. It's just so boring. I barely look at the guy. Apart from that, from how irrelevant he is, he's just so weak. He's probably like the worst berserker out there. First kill, reduce attack and defense of the enemy for two turns. Two turns! Like, honestly, year one designs are just weird. Second skill is a shitty guts, and that's it. And third skill is a debuff removal and increases max HP, which on most servants is okay. But like, he really doesn't need that. He, like, there is no point in having that. He's a berserker, he will die by like two hits. The only redeeming factor is that his NP can actually do some damage. And it's really, really funny to hear, not gonna lie. And coming in at number 3, we have the Phantom of the Opera. Now, I have no idea what they were trying to do with this guy. His first kill is one of the shittiest innocent monster skills I've ever seen. Only 9 stars per turn, and you get a defense down debuff. Why? Second skill was a very normal shitty charm, and now has a decent piece of utility. It removes enemies buffs, which is actually really good. It's not a bad skill at all at the moment. But again, like the charm isn't a guarantee as well. But like the, the way they thought about fixing it is by having the third skill, which again just pisses me off a lot. It his third skill is just useless. The only point of it is just to make the charm kinda guaranteed. And that's it. The skill has no other benefit. Like, I, like what is the point of having mental debuff like it's not even debuff it's just the de mental debuff which is like charm fear you will rarely rarely encounter these and the thing is his NP kind of does that anyway because gives an a 50% debuff resist for six turns which is actually quite good but again he has no damage he cannot loop his skills are shit he can't like generate stars he just can't do anything Hence why he's on the list. Coming in at number 2, and this hurts a lot, but I have to. The Grandcaster, the G-Man himself, Geronimo. How can you make such a cool character so shit? And the thing is, like, he came out with characters like Billy the Kid and other servers. Like, there is no reason why his kit is just so sh bad. So, Mana Burst is quite a weak skill nowadays. Keeping that in mind, they decided to give him three of them and call that a skill set. The guy only has one quick card. What What will he need a quick mana burst for? 
I just don't, I really don't get it. I, I really don't get why he has a mana a quick mana burst. All of Geronimo's skills are basically Emia's third skill. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. The only redeeming factor about Geronimo is his NP actually does a decent amount of damage and it's not a bad NP NP, but that's it. It's honestly very sad considering how cool of a character he is. Now you might be wondering, who is number one? Is it Guild? Is it Samson? Is it Bing? It's Benke. Benke is so shit. God, what were they thinking? First skill is garbage. A skill seal for one turn, on a five turn cooldown. Skill seal can even like, in most cases, it will actually be more of a demerit than a good thing for your team, like for your party. Because let's say you're fighting a boss. You really don't want that boss to keep bombarding you with attacks. You want him sometimes like to use skills, but no, skill seal makes him attack every single time. So yeah, have fun with that. Second skill is actually not that bad. It's a taunt and a decent defense buff, so you can actually tank a bit. But why would I use him over Leonidas or George? Third skill, and this is when it actually takes the piss to the next level. It's an AOE NPC. Oh wow, so cool! It doesn't scale up to 100, and it's on an 8 turn cooldown. 8! 8! <laughs> you serious? Why? Why 8 turn cooldown? Heck, if the cooldown was 6 turns, it would still be a shit skill. His NP used to be one of the shittiest in the game, or actually the shittiest. And in my opinion, it still is. His NP gain is so bad, so you can't spam it. All it does is a very minute chance of, ch of stunning them. And curse, who cares? The only good thing about it is the buff removal. And that's it. And again, you can't spam the NP. You you probably hit it like once or twice throughout the game. It's just so bad. It does no damage. It's just there. So yeah, I really think this guy needs a buff at some point. Like he needs something to help him out. Like you cannot use this guy. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my ranting and me venting out on how pissed off I am at some designs. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for this shitty channel. Bye!